Hi there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the raster calculator in ArcGIS. I've already shown you in previous videos how to use um, the exact same uh, functionality of raster calculator in MapInfo uh, and in QGIS open source. Now in MapInfo, the raster calculator along with many other raster tools comes uh, with the default MapInfo desktop product which is a commercial product you pay for it and and you get a load of raster tools with it QGIS of course is open source it's freely downloadable uh, current version I think is QGIS Bon uh, 303 and um, that comes with a whole raft of uh, raster processing tools which is great so what I'm showing here is ArcGIS so this is 10.5 and I have the extensions enabled spatial analyst actually I've got 3d analyst there as well and in customize in toolbars I have spatial analyst activated spatial analyst is an additional tool you have to you pay for it so you pay for arc map for ArcGIS desktop and then you pay an additional amount of money for the uh, spatial analyst extension so you may not have this unless you've paid the extra money but you can go onto the uh, uh, your Esri um, administrator, your ArcGIS administrator tool, and um, and you can effectively press a few buttons and have these extensions added for I think it's 60 days, uh, free for evaluation purposes. So it's worth doing if you want to play around. But like I said, you do pay extra for what I'm about to show you. So in the Art Toolbox, uh, you'll see uh, Map Algebra under Spatial Analyst Tools, and you'll see Raster Calculator. I double click on that. Uh, in the map here, you can see the uh, uh, SRTM I have loaded, which I've used before in other uh, videos about raster files. It's just some free SRTM data, uh, NASA data, uh, from around Austria. Uh, so just a nice piece of demo data to use. So in the raster calculator, what, you, what, what I'm going to do here is use the very same sort of uh, numbers that I uh, used before. I want to pick out particular cell values, a range, and create a new raster uh, file based on that. So um, I think I, I, if I remember correctly, the elevation data I used before is where it's greater than 770 and less than 1015 uh, was the numbers I used in previous videos. But it, but it doesn't matter what you use, I'm just going to use that as an example. So it's a map algebra expression. You click on your, I've only got this one TIFF loaded, so there it is. So I'm going to do where that is greater than 770, so it's quite high. And then and uh, that is less than, um, I think it was uh, uh, about 1500, something like that. So uh, these are just meters, these are elevation data, it doesn't matter. What you've got to do with these is, is put these in parentheses to make sure that each part is evaluated. Uh, parentheses parenthe uh, parentheses uh, or brackets are, are key uh, to building these expressions. Uh, to build more complex expressions and to um, Play around a bit more if you want. If you use tool help, you can look. This is what you get for tool help, and here, we'll, here is a lot more information about the kind of uh, uh, expressions you can use. I'll put it into this table, raster six, uh, and uh, it's going to be a raster. And just press OK. In the bottom right, you can see raster calculator running. It's a geoprocessing tool, so it'll, it'll uh, uh, run as per normal as a geoprocess tool. There it goes, it's finished. Got a green tick there, the calculator's done. And there's my resultant uh, raster that falls within those values. So uh, zero does not fall within those values. So I'll just make that hollow, I think. And um, let's make this stand out a bit. Let's just make this, uh, let's just make this dark red. So that is my resultant raster layer. If I zoom out a bit, you can see it a bit better here. So in the geoprocessing uh, results, if I look at that, uh, you can see I've run it before actually. But you can see 
uh, all the details about the Erastic Outcodes it run. And there's my values, greater than 770 and less than 1500, which the values are used. So you can see um, the whole of the original TIFF uh, there. There it is. And that's my resultant raster that was created from the uh, expression. I can turn that back on. And if I use this swipe tool, I, I could go to effects and select the RustCalc 6, which is what I've just created, and use this swipe tool. Um, there it is. You can go left or right or up or down, and you can see I can pull away just those values so I clearly see. I showed this, the swipe tool in a previous demo, but I thought I'd show it at the end of this. So you can see, so I'm revealing the uh, the main SRTM underneath, removing, swiping away RasterCalc 6, uh, which was my uh, uh, results of my calculator. And whatever is in there is the one that gets removed. Anyway, that's a quick intro to Rust Calculator, and I hope that's useful. Thank you.